All right, we are busting a wildcat run up north to go pick up the masterpiece for the merchandise room. We found it on Facebook Marketplace, and one thing I learned is when you get a good deal on Marketplace, you gotta go jump on it right away. So we're gonna go out there, a couple hours up north, spend the night in the RV, wake up in the morning, be the first ones there to purchase it tomorrow morning, and then come back. We made it 150 miles north to the Madonna Inn, and uh, we figured let's just hang out here because it's actually really close to where we have to be in the morning to meet up with the seller. But yeah, we're gonna be sleeping in short stack and I think we're gonna stay just somewhere in the parking lot because honestly, who's gonna know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's great because this place has got awesome food and a bar. A what? A bar. <laughs> oh, baby. This place is so cool. masterpiece for our merch room and the Madonna Inn is literally just that way so right it was really freeway. convenient to be able to just like stay in the parking lot and plus we saved like four hundred dollars by not staying there exactly although we probably spent about that much at the bar <laughs> no. <laughs> no we took it easy it's one of these oh nice Cadillac over there Okay, we finally got back to the new shop and uh, we got the RV loaded down with furniture, some decorations and stuff. We have a plan for the merch room, a very specific plan. And uh, now we're just gonna check in with Matt. He's been painting the room while we were out on this adventure, getting all this stuff. So let's check it out. Yeah. We were like American pickers out there, I feel oh like with this God. RV short stack putting in work. Okay, we're gonna go check in on Matt and see how he's doing on the inside. Oh my brightness. Wow. Dude. Dang, you're fast, dude. This is, it's looking good. Yeah. So, oh, okay, cool. I like, he's got the floral masked up here. Alright, well, there's still another yeah. color we're gonna put on the top here. You'll see that in a little bit, but this orange is looking good. Yeah. What, what was the name of this color? Uh, Oriole. Oriole? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot, we're almost out, huh? You are out. Okay. Barely last. Just got it. Barely making it. Scraping this thing. Okay, we are here at Home Depot, and um, if you can't tell by now, Danny's got our plant, and we got a whole load of bamboo. So, guess what we're doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, don't drop it! to the brim with all the merch. We're just transporting everything over here to the new shop. And we got a whole bunch of other decorations and speed parts for the merch room, so. All of the merch is in the back of him right now. Everything. Yeah, everything. Every piece. So, if you guys ordered some merch after seeing this video, you'll know it's been transported in Duke. Well, 
Now we can unload him and then we'll finally show you guys what we drove like what was it 150 miles one way 300 miles yeah Three, so total 300 miles to go pick up so hang tight all right so here is the masterpiece we drove 300 miles to pick up this vintage 1940s bamboo bar set so it comes with the bar top and it came with four stools we have another one sitting in the room right now but like I found this thing on Marketplace and I fell in love and I was like, this is what I want to be like, kind of like my office desk. And I think it's perfect. It like, looks great. Danny and I have wanted to do like a tiki themed room slash bar for so long now. And we even debated turning our engine room into yeah. like a full tiki room. That's how much we wanted to do this. So as soon as we got the new shop and we saw the office, we're like done. Yep gives us an excuse to go shopping. Great excuse. And we've also collected some things like here and there along the way. So yep. we got Duke, he's packed with a bunch of stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to get this merch room set up. Yeah. So like I said, this is the main piece is the bar, the stools. And then we also purchase this vintage 1970s tiki. Uh, it's like a palm wood carving. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, it, this is carved out of a, a, a palm and you can see that there's right here there's like the bark that comes down and then it also comes down around here so it was just a solid chunk of palm and they carved this tiki out of it and they left that bark along the bottom edge it's all one solid piece but this is the real deal right here and so is this yeah it's authentic and like the original um padding for the seats you can see it's like split just a little bit right there, but that's probably the worst part of it. And underneath, you could see the maker of it right there. All in really great condition. Yeah, and so while we were um, on our little trip to go pick this up, on the way back, we made a few stops down the coast and we picked up some more artwork. Like this is a little bit more modern. Um, local artist i believe who did this one yeah local from uh, ventura yep same artist here this one as well yeah and then when we were uh, picking up the bar the guy had a load of other stuff too so um this was more new artwork we picked up very vibrant and then this is all vintage stuff right here. yeah there's a lot of tiki um, mugs inside of here as well we'll all unpack that inside the merch room yeah and then this big old bamboo stalk we got that we also picked up this tropical plant here yeah. from hawaii mm -hmm. and we got some extra bamboo we got some more um stuff inside the work truck yeah and inside of duke here so our plan is to mix like traditional tiki with hot rod parts so i think like just the vibe for our channel in general has been like beach hot rods, just having a good time, and uh, just happy vibes all around. So we thought, we're like, well, let's get the vintage speed parts that we already have, put them in the Tiki merch room, and I think it'll just be a great mixture. Yeah, we got loads of stuff. Just to give you a little peek, Danny's been saving these Mickey Thompson valve covers for a hot minute. Got my three barrel carburetor right there. Um, some Hemi parts, like the works. Yeah, So it's gonna be a whole vibe. Yeah, and now so. that we got Duke here, the party can officially begin. Yeah. So we're gonna unload this stuff and then we'll start mocking it up in the room. Okay, where do you want to put the masterpiece at? So, I already have this planned out in my head. Follow me. So, I think that one of the stools should be here in the corner, and then the bar, or my office, my desk, can be Is right- Is a bar or a desk? I've been calling it both. It's gonna be a desk, 
and an occasional bar here and there, <laughs> but it's my desk. So I think the corner, because it, it's a pretty big item, and then we can put three stools in front of it. Think of it like a speed parts counter, you know? Mm, but like it's a it. tiki bar, just happened. Bar? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> gotta okay. be careful, but yeah. Um, I'm liking the, the orange a lot more now. Yeah, I mean, I will say on camera, it's like a little bit brighter than it looks in real life. In real life. But we'll see. Looks a little funky right now, but I think once we start bringing in all that all stuff, it's stuff. gonna really tie it together. Mm -hmm. Plus we have a bunch of stuff to put on the walls. Like I mean, a bunch. If you guys don't know anything about tiki bars, that you know, they're littered, like you barely even see the paint. So we're gonna have to collect stuff over the years because quite honestly, <laughs> all this stuff is very expensive. Super. Like, if you thought hot rodding is expensive, well, get into tiki's. You're into tiki's and hot rods, your pockets will be blown out. You won't even know what month it is. <laughs> and uh, with all of our stuff, it's not that kind of thing where you just go to a store and you just buy it. We went everywhere along the coast. Like, we what? were all, this stuff came from like all the way up California coast, basically. We were like in garages, basements, caves, that came from like a cave looking place. Like <laughs> we searched hard for this stuff. The, to find the authentic tiki stuff is very hard. Yeah, so I think we have a good starting point here. So we know where the main item is gonna go. So let's let's put the bar in. Enough talking, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Okay. Good thing this is made out of bamboo because it's pretty light. It's light? That's for me. You all right? Mm, is that what you want? Heavy. Um, I'm thinking more like in the corner, like kind of like. Can you just tell me what to do? So here, let's pick it up mm -hmm. and come here. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, like in the corner. I mean. And then yeah. we're going to put a bar stool back there. How okay. am I going to get to the back? I'm going to have to cut down on all those tacos. Here, let me see. How, how does it look if I get back here? Okay, all right, okay. I like it. Because I, like I, I need Hold a little on. bit of Let's, room. We, we need to bring in the stools. Let's see. Okay. Grab another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what you did. I see what you did with the color. So she picked out the color. I just saw these like, kind of like greenish. They looked a little bit more mint online, but it looks perfect. Yeah. And then I just so need far. one stool back there. I was the one that found this. This is, oh wait, what's that? We gotta think of a name for this guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where should he go? Should he go next to the bar or? Oh, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll just leave him right here for right now. How about that? Okay, we'll have to clean him too. He's a little dusty. Yeah. A lot of this stuff, like, or at least these pieces sat in storage for like, I don't know, the guy had the stuff for 20 years and then. Yeah, what was his name? Eric. Yeah. Thank you, Eric, for making good use of it. Yeah. Oh, it looks really cool in here. Wait, I want to sit behind it for the Let's first see. time. Oh, yeah. Oh, my okay, gosh. Let me sit here, too. Let me sit here. Okay, uh, excuse me, ma'am. I'll have a reverb crash. All right. And then we're going to put a little blender underneath. And after that, I'll have a rusty harpoon. Rusty harpoon. Ch -ch -ch. Dang. Oh, the tiki mugs. What are we doing? We're not even close to done yeah, yet. We're not we're even remotely. To here. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Are we good up top? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I've got my oh, that looks good. Aloha plant. What is this? See, it is from Hawaii. I knew it. I thought I smelled it. Let me see what island. 
Kauai. It's from Kauai. <laughs> Place me in indirect sunlight. There you go. Perfect. Done. This is my first plant, so hopefully we can make it last a little while. You've never had a plant before? Like, like never had one that I had to like take care of. I've always had like cacti. And those are mm, kind of like- Those are really low maintenance. I know. This and is this is a tropical high maintenance. This is from Hawaii. I know, now I'm like- That's a long ways from home. It's gonna need a lot of care. This is gonna need a lot of work. Okay, we'll see. If this lasts more than like two months, then I did a good job. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, right. so we here's... gotta find some places for those. Yeah, beautiful. Do you, do you know what wall do you want those on? Still deciding, but maybe like the cool thing about this room is we have to scatter the artwork with the speed parts. Yeah. So if there's like a tiki here, we should put like a valve cover and then maybe save that one for like another wall. Okay. So do that. This thing is um, really old, Eric told us. Um, it's a merman. merman. So it's too bad it's cracked, but we'll, we'll get that sorted. And then he sold us these like really like old vintage tiki pieces. This is a little statue here. The God of Eternal Hope. This was, well, this one's 1992, it says, but he's missing an eye. All right. But it's okay. So we also got some tiki mugs, a couple of them. We got this um, salt shaker. Salt shaker. And there's like a pepper one somewhere here. Oh, right here. Hold on. Here's a cool tiki mug from Florida. We got more salt and pepper shakers right here. Maybe we can use those in the short stack. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. That was my favorite, the bottle opener. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This one's also real pretty, this guy. Dang. Right? What else do we get? Oh, and this. What's thing. that? Oh, <laughs> boy, it's packing. <laughs> packing the heat in there. Jeez, keep that on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if we can put that in the video. Nope. I'm gonna get demonetized. And then um, we got these um, bamboo. old bamboo they're, frames. They're real That's... bamboo. Yeah, Pretty these cool. are, these are really so nice pieces. We'll have to find some nice photos eventually. Yeah, we have a couple things we could reframe, but good start right here. All right, right there. So let's see, maybe like the flange in line with the top of that thing. Okay, right there. Perfect. So Don't move. Do not move. Oh, we should probably find a stud, huh? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we should. Dang it, I didn't bring my stud finder. Damn it. That look like 16 inches. <laughs> uh, let's get a measuring tape. Okay. Damn it. Oh, where is it? Measure. Oh, we don't have one here. What? Measuring tape. Oh my god. Dang, we're gonna have to like poke a lot of holes just to find the stud. Looks like Danny forgot the stud finder. <laughs> There's more than one way to find a stud. Okay. Come on. Is that it? Okay, we're almost to 16 inches here. See, I've, I've checked here, 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 every inch. And then we have a little bit of extra paint so we can just fill in those holes. Oh You'll never know. My God. Oh, oh. Is that it? Oh no, but I think we're getting close. You hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I mean, 
go this way. You know what? I don't think this room's up to code. That's what's going on. Oh, oh, oh! You found I, it? I think that's where we need to be. Is it? Eh, kind of. So all of this is so that way we could mount this header. Oh, it's gonna be like out the door now. You can't move it inward? Is that so bad if it's like that? It needs to be here, huh? So, okay, at least we found the stud. Now we should be able to go 16 inches over. Okay. 16. I know that from back when I used to do construction. <laughs> so that means, let me somewhere around here. How did I pass it? So after like 45 holes, I finally found the stud. Um, only issue is, is it seems like they're like 30 inches apart, which I'm used to like 16 in the past. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not a construction worker. <laughs> I'm not a framer, so I don't know for sure, but there's a stud here and it wasn't wood. So it must be one of those like aluminum or steel studs that they use nowadays. And um, so we ended up having to use like a, a metal screw to go into it. So it's up. It's it ain't up. going nowhere. It's up. This obviously is out of place because that's a small block Chevy header and this is a Dodge valve cover from a Hemi. Um, we have the Corvette, which would be more proper. Yeah. I'm actually like starting to like the Corvette one a little bit. Okay. And we also have a Mickey Thompson with... Right here. So... It's a tough decision. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. <laughs> Timmy gets constant work calls whenever we have projects. Whenever I'm on a ladder or like about to fall. Hello. Here, I'll take that. So after much debate, we decided we are gonna use the Corvette valve cover. What height? Mm, good question, not too far, not too close. All right. What do you think? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, careful. Almost, almost went down. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that looks so good. The Slayer okay. behind the bar. Cool. All right. What's next? So next, um, what do you think? Maybe some color. Like, oh, we got these two. These are colors. This guy, and then there's this. Yeah, we need some color over here mm -hmm. somewhere. So I think this one should go in this frame, but the problem is there's nothing to hook this frame with. Um, or to like back this on. So like that? Yeah, I'm just thinking like that, just on the wall somewhere here. Okay. But not at the same height as the Slayer. Like All it right. should be a little like, yeah, like low. Yeah, perfect. Like right here? That's the vibe. Okay. Okay. Wow. Is it level? Oh, oh. whoa. Oh. Got too much junk in here. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Yes. Okay. I like it a lot. Got some color. Mm-hmm, right. pop a color. So with this guy though, I'm thinking either he needs to go somewhere on this wall or maybe he can like fill up the space in here okay. and then he's close to his other guy. His buddy? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, Too similar? Do we have other artwork or? We got a lot of stuff. We have a ton of like postcards too. So we can do like a little... Um, Fill in spots with those? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd you collect that from? This is another piece from... This was from Eric? Yeah. Shoot, I'm already forgetting. How many drinks do we have? Okay. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking like... 
You can just like, they're in the corner. Okay. Let's see. And then if you can imagine it like with the bar, we'll see. For now, it, for now it can stay there. Okay. Okay. I hope there's no spiders in here. Yeah, this was uh, given to us from Tiki Tony. Yeah, thank you, Tiki Tony. Thank you. Yeah. Donated this to us, actually. Yeah. Actually, it looks really good. Yeah, it can go right there. Yeah. So, okay, this is just, you know, a little mock-up, but... You want to stand back and take a gander? Sure. Let's see. I mean, your tree would probably go there, right? Yeah. Or unless your tree goes in the center and we move that to the... To behind well i'm thinking once the bar. the bar is tilted back to where it needs to be because right now it's like kind of straight i think it'll kind of cover that edge a little bit plus okay. the bar stools we may be able to put something another tree in this corner right here mm -hmm. so that way um we could push this out a little bit more to give us more space right down there, there to move that further down okay so let's just assume we got another plant right there okay let's see if i could Knock this over. Like there. Cool. I mean, what a difference. That makes it like so wild in here. And then we have those tiki torches over there. Yeah, we got a lot more stuff. Yeah, a ton. And some lighting too. So wait till we get the lighting. There's gonna be like green lights, blue, red. Yeah. Green, blue, and red. I just spent the last hour putting together this bamboo shelf here and this is where um, a lot of the t-shirts are going to go and some speed parts, maybe some tiki items, but it's a pretty good size. I might elevate it a little bit just to keep it a little higher. I also have a garment rack coming so that's going to be able to like hang some of the items so that way if somebody comes in, a friend or something, they can like see the merch on display. Um, this is not going to be like a storefront by any means. Just for like people we know, we're not really posting the location or anything, but it's more of a hangout for us. So that is done. And then Danny just took Duke to go to Home Depot to pick up some more lighting because that's what ultimately makes a tiki bar or I should say like a tiki room <laughs> is the lighting. So we have a green bulb, we have a blue bulb, and we also have these like red LED strips that maybe we'll put somewhere. But like I said, it's really starting to shape up and look good. Yeah, don't worry, I got it. Don't worry. You got it? Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh! Yeah! Ooh. Please don't fall. Oh my god. Please be level. Please be level. Oh. Is it... Oh! How does it look? Whoa. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. This is cool. This is a really old piece that I've been saving for a long time. I got it at a swap meet. Actually, no, my buddy was selling it. Picked it up from him. It's got these cool sliders. And um, you can tell it's really old. It's got a bunch of dovetail, like uh, woodwork up on the top end. But I think it's gonna be perfect for this. Yeah, this is oh, Wait, this be... one goes this way. Yeah, this and that one goes this that way. way. Yeah, so we could put like we could put our hats in here, probably. Like yeah. Hats and like some of the other the tiki stuff. stuff. That we have. All right, so wall cabinet is up, and we got it temporarily set up here. And next, we're moving on to that piece of bamboo right there. So we got this big old chunk here, and I think the end goal is to have it suspended from the ceiling here above the bar. Uh, I thought that would look best. So we need to make a quick Home Depot run. And what else? We need to grab some more lighting too. Lighting? Yeah. And we need palm leaves. Yes, That's palm critical. Leaves. So let's go, we're gonna take Duke. I think he's more appropriate for the job. Oh yeah, Duke can haul anything. 
Duke is not a fan of this weather. It's in the low 40s today. And he's such a beach boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Good old Duke. Getting on the All right, we're maxed way. out already. Look at We're doing about 55. I'd say we're turning about 3,000 RPM right now. Pulling up. Well, we've about maxed out the credit card on this project. Mm -hmm. I think I got everything. Okay. Oh, and the, the flower. Okay. Got a plant. Another one I have to take care of. The best part about driving a classic is it's so easy to spot your ride in a busy parking lot. Oh yeah, you just everywhere he goes. Okay, now we just need palm leaves, and we've come up with a plan on how to get them. Okay, we gotta be quick. Stealth landscaping. How does this work? Stupid. Saws on. Oh my God. Doing a little landscaping, gotta help clean up the community. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of trash over here too. We need to clean that up. Wow. <laughs> you gotta do your part and clean up the community. Okay, let's go. Duke almost overheated just sitting here. Aww. Look, maybe I should have got that one too. Oh. Let's see what else is up here. Let's clean up this area. Here. Watch how much better that's gonna look after I'm done with it. Okay. We'll take like, a look. It's gonna. It's gonna be nice. You're gonna be on the news. Man in a '56 Chevy with a sawzall just hacking down palm trees. Oh, those are strong. That, that's on there. I don't know about this. And I don't think these are going anywhere, though. Are 
landscaping. Give it a little haircut. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of cops. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Woo! It's looking like a party back here. Let's go before we get arrested. Get hit. How's it going? Down to the wire. Yeah. Uh, it's Tuesday, not only Tuesday, it's like noon. Mm -hmm. the, we're gonna upload this video in a few hours, so you guys are watching this live, basically. Pretty much, yeah, it's only five hours behind the real thing. So let's see how this looks. Let's see. According to my calculations, should be pretty yeah, level. Yeah, that looks even. Wow. Let me see. All right. Yeah. That's so scary when I'm we'll get working some, there. What, you don't trust my work? No, I do, but. I <laughs> don't think I nailed the stud. <laughs> I found it. Crazy. Cool. So. so we will get the palms and we'll put some palms over the top of it. Mm hmm. To kind of cover up. Cool. Grab a few of these. This one might be too long for that side. But uh, let's see, I'll cut it down a little bit. All right, we got Duke here for the final unveiling of our merch room. We did a ton of work off camera. Just didn't want to bore you guys with the details, but we are so happy with it. It's it's killer. So let's show you. You know, the building looks very plain, you know, from the outside. And then little do you know, there's a party going on in here. Wow. This looks so good. Right? I'm like so thrilled. This is like such a cool space to work in. Yeah, so we got pretty much everything done that we wanted to get done. Unfortunately, our clothing rack didn't show up in time Yeah. to have like our merch here. So we just have some displayed there for you and over here for now. Also, our hats are not 100% done yet. Mm -hmm. We are doing some more work to the design. We're gonna make the patch just a little bit bigger. And then also we're working on some of the um, embroidery yeah. We want these hats perfect when you guys get them, guys. So they're going to be really nice. So stay tuned for those. All in all, are you happy with it? I love it. Okay, cool. I love it. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to do a little B-roll for you guys and show you all the little details.
Well, thank you guys so much for following along on the transformation of my office slash merch room. I am over the moon, happy and excited. I can't wait to be like working here and shipping out orders. And speaking of which, we actually just got our first order for the new merch room. Shout out to Jordan Green from Athens, Alabama. So I'm gonna pack that up right now for what, him. What did he order? He couldn't even make up his mind. He got a shirt in both colors. What? One for the daytime, one for night. There we go. And uh, you know what? He ordered two of these. We're gonna throw in some stickers. All right. So let's get this packed up. All right, so we are all packed up and now I'm gonna take this straight to the post office. Thanks again, Jordan. We really appreciate your order. And we have to say, a lot of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel. So be sure to do that because we wanna keep pumping out videos every single Tuesday for you. And who knows, maybe throw in some extra ones too to keep you guys entertained. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the transformation and we will see you next week.